Hallelujah. 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 Today we are going to think about Romans chapter 12 verse 11. There we read like this. Work hard and do not be lazy. Blame in the spirit of God and serve the Lord with a heart full of devotion. We have to be blessed in the spirit in the service of our Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let us pray for a, a new anointing for a for a fire anointing. Let us pray together. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Glory. Praise the Lord. Holy Spirit. Come again with a mighty thunder. Oh Holy Spirit. Spirit of God, rain down. Spirit of God, come into my life. Spirit of God, rain down. Let your fire fall on me, oh Spirit of God. Fall, fall on me, Spirit fall on me. Let your fire fall on me, oh Spirit of God. Fall, fall on me, Spirit fall on me. I pray you rain down, down, rain down in my life. Oh, rain down, rain down, Spirit of the rain down, down, rain down in my life. Oh, rain down, rain down, Spirit of the rain down, down, rain down in my life. Oh, rain down, rain down, Spirit of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Rain down, down, rain down in my life, Lord. Rain down, rain down. Spirit of go rain down, down, rain down in my life, Lord. Rain down, rain down, Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus our lord called us and appointed us to bear much fruits my colleague Ainish she is a very she is very committed to the ministry of the lord for the kingdom of the god she can explain she can explain from her own experience how to burn out how to burn for the lord jesus christ praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus the first time when i heard about this young martyr jose sanche from mexico a 14 year old boy during the time of christian persecution in mexico that is in the year 1927 this young boy he was asked to renounce his faith but he said no instead what did he say he said viva cristo rey which means long live christ the king the soldiers beat him uh, beat him up with machetes and they cut the soles of his feet and made him walk on uh, on salt and after that they made his uh, the entire body was bleeding and in spite of that they made him walk with pain on the rocks until the time he reached the cemetery and he was stabbed to death i have always wondered this 14 year old boy what was special about him that even to the end of his life while he was in pain he did not renounce his faith but instead he kept on shouting viva cristo rey till the end of his breath what was special about him 
it was the fire of the holy spirit this is what john the baptist spoke about jesus john the baptist says in matthew chapter 3 verses 11 and luke chapter 3 verses 15 this way that when he comes he will baptize you with the holy spirit and with fire what is this fire which which fire of the holy spirit are we talking about today we see from the scriptures in the book of 2 chronicles chapter 7 and 1 we hear the powerful prayer of solomon what happened when solomon prayed and what did his prayer bring on the earth we will just listen when solomon had entered his prayer fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and sacrifices and the glory of the lord filled the temple and the priest could not enter the house of the lord because the glory of the lord filled the lord's house when all the children of israel saw the fire come down and the glory of the lord upon the temple they bowed down with their faces to the earth on the pavement and worshiped and gave thanks to the lord saying for he is good for his mercy endures forever praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord the word of god says that after solomon had prayed the fire came down on the earth and all the people the israelites who were standing there they bowed down and they worshiped the lord in acts of the apostles chapter 2 we know the beautiful day of pentecost how peter along with all the apostles and the disciples and with mother mary they had been praying fervently they were praying fervently devotedly to the lord and they were crying for the power of the holy spirit to come upon them in acts of the apostles chapter 2 and verses 3 the word of god says that the holy spirit came upon them as tongues of fire and it rested on each one of them and we know that after that peter is filled with the power of the holy spirit and he goes out and he proclaims that the lord is the messiah he proclaims the good news to the people so that in acts of the apostles chapter 2 verses 37 we read that the people who are listening to peter they were cut in their heart and the very next moment they are asking what shall we do what shall we do my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus we don't have to do anything because when the fire of the holy spirit comes the presence of the lord comes along with us praise the lord praise hallelujah lord. hallelujah we cannot hide it can we hide fire from anyone we cannot hide that fire exactly like that when the holy spirit comes inside us there is a change in us people can see the change around us this is exactly what the fire of the holy spirit does to our lives praise the lord praise, praise the lord hallelujah 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 when campers go out to the forest what do they do they burn a huge bonfire why do they do that one to keep them warm uh, and secondly very important is they do that to protect themselves from animals exactly like that when the fire of the holy spirit comes to our lives it gives us a divine protection we read this in the book of exodus chapter 13 and verses 21 and the lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them along the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light that they might travel by day and by night praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord, lord. That is why the Lord says Holy Spirit has written in Zechariah chapter 2 and verses 5 I will be a wall of fire around my people and I shall be the glory in between them in among them praise the Lord Hallelujah. 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 So when we are filled with the fire of the Holy Spirit, then it is the Lord's duty. He will take care of us. He will protect us even when we are among strangers, the when we are faced with temptations, when we are faced with some kind of trials, the Lord will protect us. 
remember it is the fire which repels the snakes exactly like that the fire of the holy spirit when it is ablaze in us satan will stand defeated satan satan cannot come near us praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah therefore my dear brothers and sisters in christ it is very important very vital for us to be ablaze in the spirit at all times the pope francis talk about uh, you know how to be on fire for the lord i will just read this out to you pope francis in one of his homilies uh, in 2014 april he writes this way he says some people may think i go to mass every sunday and i have enough faith but i do not feel the need to give it to another so to stay in one own house and living a quiet life and not risking anything that is okay for me but pope francis says this is known as the disease of laziness or sloth so whenever we are overtaken by sloth or laziness whenever we lack fire in us then we are closing the door of god's grace praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 therefore my dear brothers and sisters in christ we need to be on fire for the lord at all times we need to take care that this fire burns in us at all times in the old in the old testament we read this way in leviticus chapter 6 and verses 12 and 13 we read this way the fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it it shall not go out the priest shall burn wood on it every morning and he shall lay the burnt offering in order upon it and shall burn on it the fat of the peace offerings fire shall be kept burning upon the altar continually it shall not go out praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord the word of god says in leviticus chapter 6 and verses 12 that the fire on the altar shall keep burning you know when we go for a holy mass sometimes we must have seen when the candle is going out what do we do the altar servers they run they run and they cup their hands between that flame of fire so that it doesn't burn out exactly like that in our spiritual life we need to be careful that we do not burn out the flame of the holy spirit in us therefore it is very important in our spiritual life to fan the flame to stir the holy spirit in us by prayer by devotion to mother mary going for holy mass praying our family prayers together with the family my dear brothers and sisters in christ when saint ignatius of loyola sent saint francis xavier to his mission to india and all the other parts of the world this is what he said his last words to saint francis xavier was this go set the world on fire and that is the reason saint francis xavier he got that spiritual zeal and energy to go out to the ends of the world and set ablaze the spirit praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah it is said that saint francis xavier by the end of the day his right hand would get tired in the night because throughout the day he would have baptized so many people more than 30000 people were baptized by saint francis xavier alone praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 saint dominic savio when he entered into the oratory of uh, of saint don bosco this is what he read in latin it read this way give me souls take my rest give me souls take my rest my dear brothers and sisters in christ today let us pray for this anointing that the lord will always keep us ablaze in the spirit let us reflect for a moment are we lacking the fire in our lives are we lacking fire in our family prayer in our personal prayer are we lacking the fire when we are in our churches are we lacking fire in our prayer groups then 
today we have to cry out to the Lord like Saint Peter the Apostles the disciples along with Mother Mary they cried out for the fire of the Holy Spirit to come on them and they were empowered today we need to cry we need to cry for ourselves and for our young generation that the fire of the Holy Spirit comes upon each one of us and that we may be commissioned to go to the ends of the earth and preach and give the word of God to many souls who are really in need of listening to it may uh, may the Lord may the Lord give us this grace to be the young generation saints may our Lord give us this grace to be martyrs for Christ like like a blessed Jose Sanchez be on fire be holy amen hallelujah hallelujah yes my dear ladies and gentlemen that is what Holy Spirit demands through Romans 12 11 work hard and do not be lazy blaze in the spirit and serve the Lord with a heart full of devotion it is an urgent it is it is it is what Holy Spirit demands to the generation of this age hallelujah hallelujah so let us pray for a great anointing of Holy Spirit stand up let us pray together hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy Spirit hallelujah. rain upon us hallelujah. Holy Spirit come upon us rain down the Holy Spirit hallelujah hallelujah Spirit of God come down Spirit of God rain down Spirit of God come into my life Spirit of God rain down Spirit of God, fall upon me, Spirit fall on me, let your fire fall on me, oh Spirit of God, fall upon me, Spirit fall on me, I pray you rain down, down, rain down, in my life oh, rain down, rain down, Spirit of God, rain down. Holy Spirit, Rain down, down, rain down in my life, oh, rain down, rain down, Spirit of God, rain down, down, rain down. Romans chapter 12 verse 11 Work hard, do not be lazy, blaze in the spirit and serve the Lord with a heart full of devotion. Amen. 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 Amen.
Jesus with all our heart with all our strength we accept you and we we proclaim you as our redeemer as our savior come to us lamb of god come to rescue us jesus lamb of god Blessed be God blessed, blessed be his holy name blessed, blessed be Jesus Christ true God and true man blessed be the name of Jesus blessed be his most sacred heart blessed be his most precious blood blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar blessed be the holy spirit the paraclete blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy blessed be her holy and immaculate conception Blessed be her glorious assumption blessed be the name of Mary virgin and mother blessed be saint joseph her most chaste spouse blessed be god in his angels and in his saints